Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to a brand new episode of completing the decks on Pixelmon. We got the whole team out today. Um, everyone's enjoying it. And I do have a special thing for you guys. I've been playing a whole lot off of camera. And let's just go ahead and check it out. So, Larvitar evolves level 30, currently level 29. We're one battle away from being level 30. Larvitar will evolve. And we've also got Tranquil level 31, evolves level 32, I'm pretty sure. And basically just one battle away from evolving um so ooh, tranquil this is this could be it dude this could be your this could be your experience there's a mega b drill right at our house dude let's hit that on let's see if we can knock out this mega b drill all right um let's leave with gyarados to get its attack down what in the world a mega b drill bro how do we even attack it now i gotta get down there all right we're fighting the mega b drill all right, Mega B Drill, you will be defeated. Um, I don't know what to do, man. It's level forty-one. Um, let's just go for waterfall, I guess. Is it gonna knock us out? Okay, it didn't even knock us out. Okay, that's perfect. All right, how much is waterfall gonna do? Oh, that did so much damage. There's a chance we could beat this. All right, twin needle. We got poisoned. That's okay. That's okay. All right, the waterfall. He's almost dead. We've almost beat this Mega Beedra. I think you get the Mega Stone if you defeat it. All right, Fury Attack knocked us out. We just got to hit it one time. We just got to hit it one time. Let's see if we can uh, Flame Charge it or something. I don't know. Let's see. Let's send in Larvitar because Larvitar could evolve from this if given the chance. All right, Rock Slide it is. Um, Nope. Dead. Larvitar dies. Um... Let's send in Tranquil. I really want to defeat this. Let's go quick attack. Oh, dude, did Tranquil... Oh, I thought it, he must have like one HP left. Tranquil, if you don't die... Dude, his HP is going so slow. There we go. All right, Tran Tranquil, you you can finish this off. That's what we like to see, dude. Tranquil's got a bunch of XP. All right, Tranquil got 1,000 XP. Level 32 now. Um, we got Ghostium. We got Beedrillite, a rare candy. And Ghostium Z, dude. We can do Z moves and we can Mega Evolve. We'll take all those. Oh, and now Tranquil is evolving finally. So we can actually watch it now because someone told me how to actually move the screen around. All right, Tranquil. Um, I'm really hoping this is your second chance, Tranquil. If we can't fly you whenever you're an unpheasant, then there's literally no point in even having you anymore. You'll be going to the PC. I'll be catching this Pelipper because I know you can fly on those things. All right, um, you found a Keystone. How do you want to equip it? Oh, you can pick different ways to equip your Keystone. Uh, dude, give me a sick bracelet, necklace, or whatever. Does it does it show up on your character? Oh, <gasps> dude, it's on me. Can I zoom in on myself? Yes, there it is. Look at that. Return, please. Oh, I can't even return him. All right, return now. Now look at that, boys. That is a keystone. We can mega evolve a B drill if we ever had a B drill. Um, but yeah. All right, so let's get back up to the house. I'll tell you guys what today's plan is for the episode. All right, we are back in the house. Before we do anything else, I do want to test this out. This is your final chance. Please fly for us. And, oh, yes. Yes. We're flying, boys. We're flying. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's what you want to see right there. Look at that. We can literally explore anywhere, and we can do it so much faster now. This is so great. All right. Um, yeah, so I want to show you guys the map. I did a lot of exploring last night. Um, you guys will see that, um, there's a ghost tower. Someone mentioned before that this was a ghost tower and there's some good rewards there. Might check it out today. I explored more over here and found a Pokemon Center there. I didn't go to it, um, but I was wanting to explore. I found this ice region. I was like, man, that's really cool. Then I just kept exploring, come back down through here. And then I decided I was going to go to the right and finish the little area in this island because we had that not explored in the middle. I was like, there could be anything in the middle right there. It's big enough to be a, like a village. So I went on and down through over here as well. And I found an area. There was one Pokemon Center here and then three Pokemon Centers here. But I still haven't found another village yet. It could literally be anywhere in any of this area or it could be anywhere. I don't even, I don't even know, man. I'm trying to find... Oh, there's a desert over here somewhere. So I need to go over there to find desert. I want to find the desert, which is, I guess, right there. And I'm also looking for... Um, 
what is it? I'm looking for the jungles too. I'm trying to find all the bombs and now that we can fly, we can do things so much easier now. So today's plan, um, we're going to be doing a little bit of battling. I want to try to take on a gym. Apparently that thing in the village, you guys said it was a gym. So I think we're going to go ahead and try to take that um, or get the gym badge or whatever. But to get gym badges, you have to have a gym badge case. And we have just enough apricorns to make a gym badge case. I think I'm going to make a green and black one because I don't really use the green apricorns. And I think I don't want to put them to waste. So I have a lot of cooked ones. For some reason, I've been cooking them. Um, and then it takes black ones, I think. So then we just make this here. I think it's three at the bottom, three at the top, and then three black ones in the middle. And that will make us a green badge case. Holds a variety of different badges. Register the badge case by clicking and register on the button on the top of the GUI when you first craft it. All right. Um, register. There we go. It's ours now. We can check our gym badges, but we don't actually have any right now. Um, but we do know where a gym is. Uh, but before I do that, I do want to get Larvitar evolved. Larvitar, you've been working so hard. And I have found the best place. Uh, well, you guys will notice that my entire team um, is level 30, um, except for Sandy Gas. Sandy Gas is still level 24. He's been getting the back of end of it, but I've just been using Raboot, uh, Gyarados, Larvitar, and Unpheasant right now um, just to do some stuff. But Sandy Gas has been very helpful. Very defensive Pokemon, and but it doesn't evolve to like level 42, so we've still got a long way for Sandy Gas to go. I don't want to give up on him just yet, um, but I guess we're going to go in here and find one one Pokemon to knock out with Arbitar because then it's all it's going to take. Um, and this is also a great place to, to get some stuff, like materials and stuff for playing the game. Alright, we are fighting this Ghastly. I don't think this is going to be enough. Oh, it was enough. Perfect. Alright, level 30. Uh, Larvitar is going to level 30. Larvitar is evolving. All right, there we go. I was going to say, we can't even see it. No, he's running away. All right. Larvitar, quit moving so much. Ooh, a Pupitar. That looks beautiful, dude. He looks great now. Okay. Um, yeah, Pupitar. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and take on the gym, I guess. All right. So I, I'm going to get a few potions because um, I don't know how um, this is going to be. This could be pretty rough. Uh, so I might as well just get a few of those and maybe some others. And even some revives, because I don't even know if you're allowed to even use those in gym battles, but we will find out. Unpheasant, please guide us to the gym. Alright, let's go, boys. Let's go. Dude, something about riding off into the sunset like this just feels amazing. We're finally up here with these wingles. They've been taunting us the whole episode, but now we are here. Dude, this is just so beautiful. We even got some majestic music playing in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but if you can, this is such an awesome moment in the series right now. We can get anywhere so fast. All right. I think that's the gym there. But you can't see because of my big head, but that big blockade of grass. I'm not sure how you enter it. Let's look around the bottom. I don't know if you go in from the top or the bottom. Because I did climb to the very top to just check it out and see what it was. Because I thought it was going to be like a cool place to build your house. Some kind of just random formation on the ground. But it was not. Alright, where could you enter if you wanted to enter? There's a lantern there. Okay, I think this is where you enter at. Alright. Um, ooh, is that... Dude, is that some rubies or sapphires right there? Let's go ahead and mine those sapphires really quick. Just because you can't get too many sapphires, you know. All right, this music is uh, getting a little crazy now. Welcome to the Rock Gym. Our gym leader will make you fall. When you think you're done, the battle will just have begun. Okay. Oh, are we already fighting somebody? Yeah, it's not a good idea to lead with that Pokemon. Uh, let's go Pupitar for this. Pupitar will be good against uh, Archon, unless Archon does some kind of ground top moves. Um, and Sandy Gas could be good here too. Might want to use Sandy Gas. We'll go for the Rock Slide. Okay, they're level 12. I don't know if that's consistent throughout the entire gym. Um, okay. There's a lot of people here. Uh, let's not keep Unpheasant in the front anymore. Let's switch to Sandy Gas. I did get some battle items too as well. We got Stone Plate, Earth Plate, and King's Rock. Putting King's Rock on Gyarados to increase the flinch chances. Dude, I love these rocks. The way they decorated this gym looks sick. Alright, Sandy Gas. Let's go. Okay, yeah, this is going to be good. We got Bulldoze on Sandy Gas, so... We should be able to get some good damage up in here. Oh yeah, that was easy. That was easy. There's so many trainers in here. This is my first time ever doing a gym. Okay, so they actually have things up in here. So that's pretty cool. I wonder, are there double battles in Pixelmon? Let me know. Hey, Sandy Gas is level 25 now. Um, 
I do want to give him a potion. Let's hold this so it's a little bit brighter in here. Um, I'm going to hold my potions like this, so that way I can just send out Sandy Gas, and we can use a potion on him to heal him up. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, Sandy Gas, let's take on all of the people that we can. Just also explore, because there could be some cool stuff in here. You never know. Um, that was a fossil machine. I don't know if fossils can spawn inside this gym or not, um, but let's go ahead and fight. Bulldoze attack. Let's go. Dude, how many trainers are in this gym? There's so many trainers. Yeah, we're battling this dude right now. Um... Can I zoom in while I'm doing that? No, you cannot zoom in while you're battling. Alright, Bulldoze. Bulldoze it is. Sandy Gas is level 26 now. And dude, this is a great way to actually get money. Oh my gosh, there are so many trainers through this thing. Alright, I'll just see you guys once I get to the top, alright? Alright, Sandy Gas is putting in work, boys. Um, I think we defeated every single trainer. It looks like we're nearing the top here. Um, we defeated all these people, and Sandy Gas is level 29 now. I used some ethers and some potions, and yeah, we are definitely at the top. I'm guessing that that dude there is the gym leader. Where do we stand at? Do we stand on this thing? No, do we just come talk to him? Ooh, we talked to him. Lithos is his name? Lithos? Okay, we'll just, we'll just destroy him, because this is such a... Oh, we Dynamaxed. How do you Dynamax? Do I have to have a Dynamax thing to Dynamax? I hope I can defeat this. I'm sure I can, right? Alright, we'll just go for the bulldoze. Okay, use max guard. Why is he using max guard so much, dude? Quit using max guard every time. And max guard, but it failed, baby. How much will this do? It did pretty good damage, actually. Restored its health with citrus berry. That sucks. Alright, it's not Dynamax anymore, uh, which is cool, because I didn't even know you could Dynamax in this game. So let's go ahead and bulldoze. Knocked out Dwebble. Now he's got a big old onyx up in here. Alright, boys. This is a sick battle going on here. And it's taken us all day to defeat him. Because um, it is nighttime now. Okay, onyx. Nice, nice, nice. Air on for his last Pokemon. Probably his last Pokemon? I don't know. Level 30, Sandy Gas, baby. He learned Hypnosis earlier, so that's going to help us catch him while Pokemon for sure. Okay. Alright. Tried to knock us down. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and go for the Astonish there. To finish that off, send out Tortuga. Uh, we'll just hit him with the bulldoze. Um, yeah, this is definitely a starter gym, level 15. Um, I'm not. I've explored this whole thing. I've not found any other gyms, so I wonder if gyms only spawn in villages. You guys in the comment section, let me know. Um, yeah, so there we go. Tortuga's dead, dude. This guy has every Pokemon. <laughs> he must have a full team or something. I don't know. I wish it showed how many Pokemon were on each person's team or whatever. Cause that'd be sick. Okay, this has to be his last Pokemon, right? I haven't been counting. This has to be six. It's super effective. Jody fainted. You won the battle. You waved your banner on my place. You won $52 for defeating Lithos. <gasps> the badge and Stealth Rock. We'll take it. This is my first TM in the game. And we got a badge. Now, what do we do with it? Do we just open this up? I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> How do I put the badge in the badge case? Did I put it in there? I right-clicked it. Did it go in the badge case? It is! We got our first badge! Yes! Alright, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful badge. Okay. Alright, so, we've still got a few more to go, looks like. Um, I don't know where we can find any more gems. Uh, but we do have our good boy, Unpheasant, who we are finally able to ride. So, I'm actually going to ride him really quick and go over to the other Pokemon Center that I have a bed at. And then tomorrow... Um, I've got some fun stuff planned for us to do. Alright, so after that gym, Sandy Gas has now caught up with all the rest of our team. Everyone's level 30 to 31, and Unpheasant's level 32. Um, I wish Unpheasant actually had a flying top move. It would make it so much better. Um, but yeah, so let's take a look at the map really quick before we do anything. Um, I do want to look for a new village. So I've seen the desert is somewhere over in this area. Um, not sure where. I think it might be way over here, actually. Yeah, the desert is way over here. So, what we're going to be doing today is looking for another village um, to see if there is a gym at the other villages. All right. There's a savanna and desert. We'll eventually run into it if we just keep heading east. So, um, the day is young in Minecraft. Let's continue flying. If I see any cool stuff, I will make sure to let you guys know. I'm going to try to fly next to all the really cool, like features of the mountains and stuff oh <gasps> i actually found a village what no way it's a there's literally a village just right there chilling in the forest 
What in the world? How did I miss this? How close was I on the map? Where am I at right now? All right, so I went up there. If I would have kept going straight, I probably would have encountered that village earlier. Oh my gosh. Let's see if they even have a... Um, do they even have a gym? Does every... Does every... Um, everything have a gym? I have no idea. Oh, there's another ghost tower? Dude, this is the third ghost tower we've seen, too. I've seen three of them. Um... So yeah, we'll have to make an episode just dedicated to exploring the ghost towers. Now that we have Pupitar, I don't know if it's a dark top yet, but it does have crunch, so he can destroy. Alright, let's uh, see what this village has to offer. Oh, there's actually a Nurse Joy here. Oh, there's not been any Nurse Joys in the other villages at all. Well, the only other village we've seen. I don't think there's been one. And yeah, there's some potions and stuff here. We can take all this um, just to keep our Pokemon healthy on our journey. Thank you very much, Nurse Joy. Alright, let's check out the shop. We actually have money now. How much money do we have? Is it ah? Uh, no, it's not ah. Uh, something else. I think it's you. Yeah. So we have almost $4,000. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, we could check out the... I guess we could check out the store here and see if they have anything good for sale. Um, yeah. We could actually buy from anything here. Alright, so... Um, yeah, so this person sells food. We're gonna have to learn how to make food because I think you can make a cooking pot in this uh, mod and I, I don't know what it does. Alright, so we could buy a lot of Pokeballs if we wanted to. We could literally, I don't really want to buy anything. We make a lot of Pokeballs. We have a lot of healing stuff. Um, I don't know. Alright, I think I'm just gonna head out without um, buying anything right now. Because I know that there is um, traveling traders who sell a lot better stuff than whatever. And, ooh, some dude in here. He's a little 41 trainer. We're going to stay clear of this dude. But I'm actually trying to make an enchanting table to enchant my tools, so I'm actually going to take all these books. Just realized that there's books in the Pokemon Center and inside of here, I guess. So I'm going to take all the books that I can. Why is there just a naked boy standing outside this door here for? I can't even read his level. All right, looks like it doesn't have a gym in every single village. Um, if it did, that would be lit. Uh, but which direction do we want to go into now? Alright, I guess we're going to continue heading um, in the eastern direction just so we can try to find the desert. Um, we also want... there's a savanna that way as well, so... I'll let you guys know if I find anything cool on the way. And it looks like we found another Pokemon Center. Um, let's check it out. Maybe there's some books inside here. We all need all the books. We oh, there's a village over there. Oh, we found another village. Dude... I've been traveling so much last night, I was like, man, there's no villages nearby anywhere. Now I'm so discouraged because of how bad I did. All right, let's get the books. Oh, somebody's been here. All right, let's get these. What's in here? We'll just take all this stuff. Always take all the stuff. That way you can just use it later. All right, let's get over to that village really quick and just see what it's all about. Maybe there's a gem in this village. Or we might have just got really lucky with the first gem and been in a village. I don't know what the chances are. Are you serious? Dude, I literally traveled through here. I was just a little bit off of the village. I was so close to seeing that thing. That sucks, dude. That sucks. Well, I guess let's see what the village has to offer for us. Hey, these guys actually have a Nurse Joy again, so they're one of the lucky bunch that actually have a Nurse Joy. Oh, this one. This this box is full of stuff, dude. It's just full of everything you need. It looks like half the Pokemon is underwater, so yeah, we gotta deal with that. This guy's offering us a quest. Um, can you find a temple and tell me about it afterwards? Yes, I can. I actually know where a temple is. There's actually a underwater temple next to our uh, house. And I don't know if that's um, important. Okay, this is the shopkeeper that always sells stuff. She's selling Ultra Balls instead of the other dude that was selling um, the, uh, whatever they're called, uh, Luxury Balls. But yeah, thanks for the books, guys. All right, now we are flying at night. So, um, oh, the map just turned to nighttime. So it's going to be hard to look at the map now. But... This should be easier to spot out villages and stuff because obviously they're going to have lights and they're going to glow. What is that? What is that right there? Okay, looks like a forest burning down. All right. Uh, we'll just keep going east um, and see if we can find that, de that desert biome. I'm looking for desert. I'm looking for jungles. Is that another forest fire? Oh, that is a... I think that's Pokemon Center. Already, that's one I already found. Yeah. All right. We'll just continue flying. What in the world is that? What is that? Is that a... That has to be some kind of gym or something, right? It's not very far from where we're at from the other village. But we're going to check this out. This has to be something. It looks like a UFO kind of spaceship thing. Um, dude, we're taking this on if this is a gym. What in the world is this? Dude, this is legit. 
This is legit. Let's go heal up really quick. Okay, so they actually sell a little bit of different stuff here. They sell a friend ball and some different powders and some, um, I guess, battle items. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take on the gym and see what this gym is going to be. It looks like I'm probably a psychic type. Um, so I might want to go Pupitar. Let's actually check. I don't remember if Pupitar is um, dark type yet. It's ground and rock. So, yeah, so it's not dark type yet, but it still has crunch and it still has that power. What is its ability again? Um, I need to check that out. Did it change from sturdy or did it keep sturdy? Shed skin. All right, so it has a different ability every time it evolves, I guess. All right, so we have explored the village. Let's see if we can find the entrance to this place. What is all this? What in the world is all this stuff? Something happened here. Something random. I think there was a thing here, and this thing spawned on it. So, yeah. It's a level 30, dude. Is he part of the gym? I don't think so. Let's see what level this gym is. Hopefully, this is not that more that not that difficult of a gym. Oh, what in the world? Dude, are these Radon statues? Welcome to the Mystic Gym. Our gym leader here is a brilliant student. He always had the right answer in class. Probably because he had psychic powers. All right, this is the psychic gym for sure. I knew it. Um... Who do I want to lead with? Sandy Gas would still be pretty decent here. Um, let's see. Let's lead with Sandy Gas and just see how it see how it goes. Okay. Wait. Oh, is there invisible walls here? This gym has invisible walls. All right. So it looks like the average, the average level here is gonna be like level twenty three and stuff. I wonder if it goes off of the amount of gym badges that you have. I bet that's the answer. Oh, he just. Oh, that sucks. He just took down um, Sandy Gas with him, so nobody gets any experience, which sucks. Oh, man. What did he just use? Mystic. That'd be like Mystical Leap or something. I don't know. All right, Gyarados. This is going to be Gyarados' gym. Gyarados is going to dominate probably every gym, to be honest. All right, so we need to heal up our Pokemons. Um, oh, no, 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 no. He's too big. And uh, Oh, I guess because of uh, these walls. So it's, like, hard to tell. Um, all right, so we just got to figure out how to get over there. All right, there we go. These invisible walls suck, dude. All right, we made it to the middle. Um, I guess we're yeah we're fighting a ball toy now, so just gotta be careful. All right, we defeated both the trainers, and okay, we use. I was like, what? How do we get up to the next floor? I guess we just use the water to get to the next floor. Okay, so I guess we defeat. Do we have to defeat all trainers to go up? Or something. I don't. I don't know how this works. We'll figure it out. All right, let's see if we can defeat all the trainers here. All right, looks like we're almost to the upper level. Um, I guess we don't even if we can get by. We don't have to even fight that guy. Um, but yeah, look, we're at the upper level now. Hopefully, there's no more invisible walls. Um, and there is definitely invisible walls. All right, so let's just make our way around town. I kind of do want to fight these guys just to get the XP though, because it's such good XP. Okay, for some reason I cannot make it to that. I cannot make it to that dude over there. Can I battle you? Sir, can I please battle you? All right, we actually get to battle somebody now. Um, so let's just go, dude. Uh, hopefully we don't get destiny bonded this time. <laughs> okay, so I think I just had to go the opposite way of the way that I was going. Um, and go all the way back around that way, which really sucks, man. Okay. All right, we made it to the front. I think we just got to jump now. I don't know if we even have to jump. It looks like there's some blocks here, but I'm not going to trust it. All right, there's invisible blocks. Looks like there's some here, too. All right. We made it up higher. I don't know if this is the top or not. Is this the final battle? That guy looks like a gym leader. We might as well heal up really quick. I can't tell if you're the gym leader or not. There's some random police officer standing up there. Uh, let's see if we can battle this dude. Oh, no. There's no need to introduce yourself. I know who you are, and I know you're going to lose. I guess. Yep. This guy's probably the dude. Okay, we probably need to switch out Pokemon. Okay. Astonish on the bronze ore. Oh, come on. Citrus berry. I need some citrus berries. I cannot find them. I've been actually looking for those things. Cannot find them. Oh, he Dynamax is bronzer. Okay, use max guard. All right, I can't even see the bronzer. There we go. This is a good battle thing. Look at that. that that's insane. Okay. Astonish. All right. Astonish again. Let's just keep hitting it up. Okay, as long as he's just doing that, he's wasting his Dynamax. Literally wasted all of his Dynamax. We don't even have a Dynamax thing yet, so we can't even do that to our Pokemon. Okay. Matang, dude, what's up? Let's see if we Does he have Levitate? Please tell me he don't have Levitate. He don't. He don't have Levitate. All right, let's go Bulldoze. 
Oh, he went into slow poke. This guy's switching a lot of Pokemon. This guy's the other guy did not switch at all. I guess they the they get smarter um, the further we get in. So that's pretty good. Did he just send out unknown? Where's it at? I don't even see it. We're battling an unknown. Unknown A, I guess, and I can't even see it. Where do you even catch unknown at? All right, um, let's go so f go for the Astonish, I guess. Hidden power, and nice, no, almost dead. Unknown is like one of the worst Pokemon out there. Um, almost knocked out my, my Pokemon. Close, it was close. Okay, Chingling. We definitely need to switch. We'll switch into Pupitar. I didn't realize how, how close to death Gyarados was, so we just gotta keep, be prepared to... That Gyarados is going to die if he goes in because Stealth Rocks just come up. Okay. Pupitar is confused. It's all good and dandy. Um, what's that on the ground there? That's Chingling. Okay. <laughs> Chingling is on the ground. Pupitar hurt itself in confusion. Of course it did. Okay. Come on, Chingling. Dude, my Pupitar is just sucking it up right now. All right. Let's uh, make sure we win this by using a Super Potion on Gyarados. So Gyarados has some health to come in, and that that just those rocks are gonna destroy our dude. Okay, Pupitar not out of confusion. Use Crunch. It's not gonna end well for you, Pupitar. Sorry, Pupitar needs to be a Tyranitar. We've still got a lot of levels to go. Okay, Gyarados comes in, and the rocks are going to destroy him. Let's see, hit it with the Crunch. All right, now we gotta execute. Execute's also gonna get hit with the Crunch here. Did that knock it out? Close. Okay. Execute's more defensive than most Pokemon here. The Leech Seed hit, hits us, but it's not going to be enough to actually do anything. The Crunch will come in. Not finishing it up. Uh, the Leech Seed still, and the Citrus Berry. Did I kind of swear that already activated? I have no idea how this works. It's at literally full health now. This Execute is OP. Alright, we almost knocked that out. Alright. Gyarados became confused, of course. Dude, how many Citrus Berries... I don't understand how he keeps getting citrus berries. What is this some kind of ability I don't know about? Who in the world uses execute? Okay, we did it. We knocked it out. Alright, so Metang isn't that difficult to knock out. Um, still top Pokemon, so we need Raboot can come in. And there we go. Metang fainted. Gyarados got a lot of experience. He won the battle. I I lost. I was wrong. I have never been wrong before. And we got the Marsh Badge and Trick Room, baby. Dude, look at this. We got another gym badge. Let's put our thing there. Where's our new gym badge? There it is. All right. And we just right click and then we open that up. We have the boulder badge and we have the marsh badge. Guys, we have two gym badges total now. Um, we've explored a lot. Um, let's go ahead and the, the, the sky looks beautiful. Let's go ahead really quick and see how close we are. Um, okay, for some reason, this is not explored except for in parts. But I think, yeah, right here is the savanna and desert biomes. So we're going to go find those really quick. And then I think we're going to head on back home. For real though, I will not be, um, I will not be walking out of here for that stupid puzzle again. Dude, what in the world? Dude, that's Mega Ampharos. All right. So uh, we're actually going to try to beat this Mega Ampharos. Because I think Sandy Gas is a Pokemon that it can't hit. So, there's a chance that we could um, be fine here. Let's see if we can defeat it. Alright. This is not just any Mega Ampharos. This is shiny Mega Ampharos. So, alright. Let's see if we've got what it takes. We can heal up at the PC if we need to. And, uh, yeah, we'll go for the Bulldoze here. Ampharos uses Zap Cannon. See, I think it doesn't have any moves that can affect Sandy Gas. Because it only has like normal and electric moves. And Sandy Gas resists both of those because of its typing. So, I think... This might be a free Mega Stone for us to take. If we ever see Mega Ampharos, this is a free like thing for us to take on. All right, and this should be the last hit. Sandy Gas just got a free knockout on a Mega Pokemon. Got him to level 32. Nice, nice, nice. Wants to learn Iron Defense, but it already knew that before. I don't really care about that. Um, did we got a Mega Stone, a Sky Plate. We'll take that. We'll take that. And yeah. Did we got an Ampharos Sight and a Beedrillite? site I, I don't even know how to pronounce it but yeah so that's enough of doing that we've got a lot of stuff to do today so um what just happened okay i was like i actually handed him the ampharos site all right um let's go all right looks like we found the savannah biome so this will be a new one to add to our collection of awesome biomes 
And uh, we've got, I guess we just got to keep traveling, dude. We got to find that desert biome for sure. This is such a crazy structure. I think there's a village out there. And that looks like another gem, dude. We're not taking on any more gems for today. But we know, we'll know where to find it. It looks like a fire type gem. Okay, Gyarados will wipe that gem up, dude. All right. We will ignore this village for now. Maybe it's a bird type gem. It looks like a cage. All right, so we actually don't have any Pokemon. I guess Pupitar is pretty good against this gym. And we could always just go straight to the gym leader because we can literally fly, but that ain't no fun. All right, so it looks like we found the desert biome and a lot of fun stuff. Another village over here, a sand village. Dude, is that a sand temple? I wonder if that'll count for that quest where we have to find a temple. Dude, what? Look at these, look at these structures. Why is the Pokemart all the way up in the mountain like this? That is insane. Well, they have a little landing pad here for everybody. It's like, if you want to land your Pokemon... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh my gosh, dude, we almost died right there. That could have been so bad. That could have been really, really bad. We have so much good stuff in our inventory. Hey, we found a Pokeball in this village. Ally Switch. We want all the TMs, so get rid of the stupid beat roots we have. And uh, let's see if there's a Blacksmith. I haven't seen a village with a Blacksmith yet. All right, well, I guess we better enter this and see if what in the world was that. Okay, I thought that was some kind of crazy thing going on. This girl's running crazy through here. Um, but let's just, I guess let's just mine. Oh, that's so far down. All right. We will get the treasure. Okay. There's a golden apple. I don't know really what that's good for in Pixelmon. Oh, no. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We just died. All right. We got to get back there. We got to get back there. Okay. We're almost back to where the, this thing looks really cool in the daytime as well. I'm excited to see what the other gym looks like too. Holy cow, I never noticed that really cool floating island thing up here. I'm actually gonna check it out really quick before we head to the village. There's a Rhydon. Rhyhorn spawned on that one block there. Dude, this is really cool. That's a really cool thing there. Alright. So there's that. Um there's the sick uh other gym. I guess it's a flying top gym, so. Uh, we have another gym to take on eventually, and here is the other village where we got smoked at. The sad times, boys, sad times. Okay, I don't know how far it is. Hopefully our items are still down here. If they're not down here, I'm going to be very, very disappointed. I think it destroyed all of our items. All of our items are gone, boys. I'm down here, and I did our best. We lost the Ampharos site, all the books and potions and items. Our badge case. Dude, what happens to our badges now? Do we just lose our badges? Oh my gosh. I don't know how we're ever going to recover from this. Whew. This waypoint here will forever mark the worst disaster ever in our uh, history of playing. Oh, that's a sick formation. Okay. Does that actually go through like that? Is that actually like a cave thing? No, I thought it was like a cave thing, but it's not. All right. So, yeah. And that's that's the worst thing that's ever happened to us playing this game. What is this? What is this? I'm guessing this is another gym. Probably an electric gym because it does have a... I don't know if that's a... Is that a wild Pokemon or is that a statue? Okay, that's a statue of a Jolteon. So, this is the electric gym. So, we have the electric gym and we have the flying gym. And I'm excited. Dude. We got a lot of stuff to do in the future episodes. Um, and a lot more gems to find if... Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go build a new badge case when we get home and see if our badges did transfer over. Oh, you can actually see the glow from here. So this is our house here, and there's a sea temple right next to our house I never, ever noticed before until yesterday. Um, yeah, so I'm just now letting you guys know that we have a sea temple right next to our house. I don't know what's in there, if it's anything related to any Pokemon stuff, but yeah. It feels good to finally be home, though. feels good to finally be home. We traveled so far. All right, I guess the first thing I want to do is check and see. I missed my own landing pad. Check and see if we can actually keep our gym bad as by making another um, thing, so... And Pheasant, thank you for letting us fly on you. Um, let's get some of our Apricorns out. We want the green. We want the... Uh, just get all the black ones. Okay. All right. So we're going to make a second one. Please. Still have all of our gym badges in it. That's one of the main things I care about right now that we lost. All right. Please. Oh, no. Oh, no. We lost all of our gym badges. We've lost all that progress. We, we did two gyms. That psychic gym was so annoying. All right. But we know where two more gyms are. Um, yeah, I'm really discouraged right now. 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'm going to do a little bit of work off camera. In the next episode, we're going to be exploring temples. We'll explore the water temple. We'll explore all the ghost temples we found. I'm going to take a break from gyms right now. I'm going to Pokemon up to some pretty good levels. I want everybody to be level 40, close to level 40. Well, I guess so. I think I need to evolve uh, Raboot on screen. That'd be cool to get Cinderace on screen. And Solo Sandy Gas evolve again at level 42, I think. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. God bless you all. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.